Beating rocks, beating rocks. Do 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 do. Beating rocks. Hi guys, it's Rebecca from the Garden of the Gods Visitor and Nature Center. Winter is finally here, and today we're going to take a closer look at all of the science behind winter weather and storms with some of our favorite friends on the Magic School Bus. Let me tell you about the day Ralphie decided he was a superhero. It started one hot morning when we were sitting around the classroom. I mean, it was really hot. There wasn't a breath of air. It was the kind of day that gives new meaning to the words, when you're hot, you're hot. In spite of the heat, Carlos was working on a science project. Then enter the frizz. That's what we sometimes call our teacher, Miss Frizzle. She was wearing an amazing outfit, even for her, and she was singing. I know what we need to clear this muggy weather up, said Ralphie, looking out the window a big thunderstorm. You mean with thunder and, and lightning? asked Arnold. It was only nine o'clock and already Arnold was beginning to think this was one of those days he should have stayed home. The idea of thunderstorm was giving Ralphie a brainstorm. What if I could make a thunderstorm? It would be Ralphie to the rescue. I wouldn't even be Ralphie anymore, Ralphie said to himself. I'd be the weatherman. And that's how this all started. And the next instant, Miss Frizzle brought Ralphie back to the real world. How would you like to join our discussion about weather, Ralphie? She asked. Sure, said Ralphie. Weather is my specialty. Weather is how all the air above and around us is right now. No, it's not, Carlos objected. It's water that makes the weather. You know, water as in rain. Then Dorothy Ann chimed in. According to my research, it's air that makes the weather. Moving air as in wind. He should disagreed, naturally. Let's get this straight. Heat makes the weather as in heat from the sun. Miss Frizzle said everyone was right. Air, water, and heat stirred together make weather, she explained. Then the frizz announced that we were going on, you guessed it, a field trip. Carlos set up his rain catcher outside, just in case it rained while they were gone. We couldn't believe our eyes when we saw our bus. It looked like a weird weather machine. Ralphie was back to his weatherman thing. Before we got on the bus, he announced, I, weatherman, will show you how to make weather. I will even make a thunderstorm. But first, shall we explore one of weather's greatest ingredients, the air? Excuse me, said Keisha. What's to explore? Air is all over the place. Do you think I mean just plain old stinging around air? I'm talking about the moving air, said Ralphie. Then we all got on the bus. We couldn't believe that Miss Frizzle actually let Ralphie take over the controls. Maybe the heat was getting to her brain. Ralphie pressed a button, pulled some levers, and a gigantic fan began to blow and turn the bus on. The next thing we knew, the bus was rising up in the air and the top was opening up. And the next thing we knew, we had all changed into super light versions of ourselves. We were floating out the top and into the air. Look at that humongous cloud, said Carlos. Too bad it's not over my rain catcher. And look how sunny it is over there, said Tim. According to my research, said Dorothy Ann, weather is different in different places. That's because various combinations of wind, water, and heat make many kinds of weather. DA is really smart, I have to admit. When we looked back at the bus, it had sprouted wings and turned into a glider. Our bus does stuff like that. The world isn't really filled with big fans, said Wanda, when we were all back at the bus. So what really makes the wind? I'll answer that, said Keisha. But then Ralphie has to make a thunderstorm. Oh 
Okay, one thunderstorm coming up, promised Ralphie. Back at the controls. I'll just crank up the wind and add some heat. More heat, more wind, more heat, more whoops. The bus started spiraling up, up, and up. And normal teacher would have been worried, but not the frizz. She was all excited that Ralphie had created an updraft. She explained that an updraft is warm air that blows up instead of sideways. It's sort of like a heat wave coming in from a toaster, only much, much, much bigger. After Ralphie mixed the air and heat to make an updraft, some of the kids actually started calling him Weatherman. Keisha couldn't believe it. How about clouds? asked Wanda. Can you make clouds too, Weatherman? Why, certainly, Wanda, said Ralphie. Oh, just, uh... You need water, piped up Phoebe. Clouds are made out of water. I learned that at my old school. Then Ralphie pulled another lever, and without so much as a shka shka boom, we turned into water. You could see right through us. Carlos even put his arm right through Arnold. The bus started changing too. It turned into a giant seltzer bottle and it sprayed us out into the air. If we had been real water, the sun would have warmed us up and made us evaporate into air. But this was much, much more fun. Weatherman has turned us from water into tiny droplets, Miss Frizzle explained. Now she was calling Wa Ralphie Weatherman too. Keep together, class. We're making a cloud, shouted Wanda. Thanks to me, the weatherman, yelled Ralphie. It's c c cold up here, Arnold complained. I knew I should have brought a sweater. The air is so cold way up here, we're turning into ice crystals, Miss Frizzle told us. We're, we're also falling, observed Carlos. And sure enough, he was right. Miss Frizzle explained that when ice crystals in a cloud grow and stick together, they get heavy and fall. Well, look on the bright side, said DA. The lower we fall, the warmer we get. Which must mean why we're melting, yelled Tim. Ralphie was really on a power trip now. The weatherman made rain, he shouted. Luckily, our bus didn't fail us. It had turned back into a glider, but now it had a giant funnel on top. We rained right into the funnel and right back into the bus. We were kids again. Everyone thought it had been neat being in a cloud, then ice crystals, and then falling down as rain. But Keisha was still not impressed. Okay, Ralphie, she said, being sure to call him Ralphie and not Weatherman. So you made a little cloud and a little rain, but where's the thunderstorm? The Weatherman will not disappoint you, promised Ralphie. He was at the controls again. Make an updraft, he shouted as he pulled some levers. Make a cloud, freeze the water. The wind roared, rain poured down, thunder boomed, lightning flashed. Weatherman had really made a thunderstorm and we were right inside it. Look, said Carlos in amazement, it's raining up. That's right, Carlos, said Miss Frizzle, moist air, in the rising updraft cools and condenses into clouds. If the air gets cold enough, the moisture turns into ice crystals, then snow. When the snow gets heavy enough, it falls. As it gets warmer, it turns to rain. Then Arnold pulled himself together long enough to give us all a safety lecture. Leave it to Arnold. Poor Ralphie was starting to look a little sick. This is too much, he wailed. I've got to make it stop. Sorry, weatherman, said Miss Frizzle, but a storm like this won't stop until it's all rained out. Listen, I'm not really a weatherman, Ralphie sounded desperate. I'm just Ralphie. I don't know what I was doing. I was just pulling levers to show off. The moment Ralphie pulled the last lever, the bus shrank to the size of a ping pong ball. We were all tiny. The raindrops outside looked huge. Oh no, Ralphie groaned. I pulled the shrinker scope. Now I've made things even worse. I guess Keisha felt sorry for Ralphie because she started being a lot nicer to him. Come on, weatherman, she said. You can get us out of this. Just think. Ralphie brightened up right away when he heard Keisha call him weatherman. 
As Ralphie thought, the tiny bus got caught up in an updraft and started going up higher and higher in the air. It was colder up there, so now they were huge snowflakes instead of huge raindrops. Ralphie started muttering to himself, well, let's see, the storm has to rain out, down, up, up with the updraft, freeze, fall, melt, melted snow falling, falling down, down and out, that's it. I, weatherman, will get us out of this. Liz steered the glider bus as we all jumped off. We each grabbed our own snowflake to ride on, at least for a minute. Excuse me, said Arnold, but my snowflake's melting. We're getting rained out, yelled DA. Next thing we knew, we were raining right into Carlos's rain catcher. My rain catcher worked, yelled Carlos. It's already rained one inch plus eight kids and one teacher. The only question was, now that we were rained out, how were we going to get out? Luckily, Liz had just driven the bus into the parking lot. Miss Drizzle gave the thumbs up sign to Liz and Liz spilled us right out of the rain catcher. As we landed on the ground, just outside our school door, we grew back to our normal size. Safely back in our classroom, we discussed what we had learned on our field trip. Wind, water, and heat can make a huge storm, began Wanda. Those same ingredients can also make a beautiful sunny day, Miss Frizzle added. It's all in the mixing. Ralphie had just one thing to add. From now on, I'm going to leave the job of making the weather up to... Weather woman, yelled Keisha. Ah, come on, Keisha, said Ralphie. You can't be weather woman any more than I can be weather man. This job is just bigger than both of us. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about weather. Don't forget, there's a really fun activity that goes along this week. And if you finish it, make sure to send it to us at programs at gardenofgods.com because I want to see how well you guys can be weatherman at home. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.